The pathing process is filled with so many options and pits you can fall into. Provisional, non-provisional, design, utility. What do all of these things mean? In this video, I explain just the important steps and some tips so that you don't end up wasting your time and money. The patent process has four major steps. The first step in the patent process is the patent search or novelty search. You're trying to find out if your invention is old or new. If it's old, then move on. The patent office won't give you a patent. The simplest type of patent search is one that you can do yourself. It's called a Google image search. Just type in some words that describe your invention into Google. Click on the images link and look through the images. Try to find your invention. If you can't find it, then you need to decide if you want to dig deeper. You can pay me to do it or you can do it yourself by following the 7-step patent search strategy. Once again, it's free. It's a tutorial put out by the patent office. You can think of it as the official way to do a patent search. If you still don't find anything, you can hire me to do a patent search for you to confirm your results. The second step is to build a prototype to prove that your invention works. I can't tell you how many times I've learned so much more about the nuances of the invention after seeing it in use and handling it. The third step is to file a patent application. You need to decide if you're going to file a utility patent or a design patent first. Utility patents protect functional features, whereas design patents protect the look of a product or its aesthetics. If you're looking to get a utility patent, you have to decide if you're going to file it as a provisional application or a non-provisional application. If you decided to get a design patent, you can only file it as a non-provisional application. There's no such thing as a provisional design application. One of the questions that you're gonna have when you prepare a patent application is whether you should file it yourself or whether you need a patent attorney like me to do one for you. Now you can always prepare your own application and file it. There's nothing stopping you. However, is it a recommended course of action? I can just tell you from personal experience that when I look at patents prepared by inventors, they're generally easy to get around. So you can make your own decision from there. After you file your application, you're now patent pending. You're safe to market your invention and people can't claim your invention is really theirs because you have priority. The date that you filed your application is the date of your invention. Anyone claiming that your invention is theirs after seeing your product would be lying. The last step in the patent process is to argue with the examiner that your invention is worthy of a patent. Most patent applications are rejected by the examiner initially. Oftentimes, if you just respond to the examiner, you can get a patent. And one of the best tips of going through the examination stage successfully is to conduct an examiner's interview. This is where you can talk with the examiner over the phone so that he or she can better understand your invention. 